Let's talk a little bit about politics now. In a new survey finding more Americans are starting to lean towards conservative values. A Gallup poll released on Monday shows independents who lean toward or identify as Republican is up seven points from a year ago. The percentage of people who lean Democrat is down seven points. Julia Manchester from The Hill joining me now to explain what all of this means. Of course, ahead of this year's midterms. When both parties are vying for control of Congress, Julia, this is pretty significant. Now, I had to do a little research here because I wanted to put this Gallup poll in context. Uh, just in April, there was another Gallup survey that found that most independents do lean towards one party or another, a three out of four of them. So in one sense, this is not a surprising survey, but it is interesting to see which direction they are now leaning. Absolutely, it is direct. It is an interesting direction, Adrian. I think it's essentially um, bad news for Democrats, or it could be concerning for Democrats, and it makes sense. Look, if you look at President Biden's approval ratings, they are down. If we look at the economy under his administration, we are seeing inflation is up. There are issues with Omicron and the testing situation, so on and so forth. So I think what you're seeing in the poll is really a natural progression um, with voters wanting party change, and there's also a historical trend in all of this. You know, um, normally during a first term president's first midterm election, we see that the opposing party tends to gain seats. And we see that a lot of these swing voters, um, typically independents, tend to lean towards the, the opposing, opposing party. We saw that with President Trump in um, 2018, and we saw that with former President Obama in 2010. So there's definitely a historical precedent for all of this. Do you think the momentum that Republicans will have, uh, of course, from midterms continuing on towards 2024, will just continue to, uh, to, to rise, I guess is the right word. I'm looking for the right word, but it's just like, are we going to see a snowball effect of Republican support? You know, I think it really depends on what happens with a number of factors, mainly the economy and the coronavirus pandemic. Look, if the Biden administration is able to improve testing, um, maybe improve vaccine rollout, even get more people to take the vaccine, get those uh, t uh, case numbers down in terms of the coronavirus, that will absolutely help um, uh, Democrats going into the midterms. I think you're also going to see Democrats want to push a positive message on the economy, try to reduce inflation. That will absolutely help them as well. But as we're seeing today on Capitol Hill with the voting rights legislation and trying to pass that legislation, I think, um, you know, you're going to see Democrats want to try to get one more major accomplishment passed through Congress ahead of the midterm so it looks good on their candidates. If that doesn't happen, that's going to spell big trouble for them. Well, there are a lot. Let's just go back a little bit more to this polling information. A lot of people who are independent, they Again, I, this is anecdotal. They might like the anonymity of not being pigeonholed, of not being in a box of Republican or Democrat, and are looking exactly at what each party is presenting. And in speaking to a number of Democrats, uh, they're not recognizing the party that they actually registered with. In speaking to some Republicans, they could say the same thing. So what is the answer for both the GOP and the Democrats uh, moving ahead towards midterm elections? Is it to get back to the basics, to get back to the fundamentals of each party? You know, I think that's a question both of the parties are really trying to answer because on both sides of the aisle, you see intra-party divides. So in the Republican Party, you see the dominant conservative Trump wing of the party, and you also have more moderate or more establishment Republicans. On the Democratic side, you have ultra-progressive um, candidates running and lawmakers in that party, and you also have more moderate or more establishment Democrats. So it's difficult for leaders of both of these parties to walk that fine line to appeal to some of these more moderate or swing independent voters because they have to already appeal to both wings of their own party. I think it's a different story and, uh, you know, depending on what district, what state you're looking at, but it's definitely a tough task for both parties. Real quick, with the GOP, they are looking for more establishment type candidates, as you mentioned this year. Can you explain exactly what character traits an establishment Republican would have in 2022? <laughs> 
Yeah, well, Adrian, it's very interesting. You see Glenn Youngkin, the, Vir the Virginia governor who was sworn in on Saturday, be being viewed as more of a Mitt Romney-esque uh, establishment Republican, someone with a business background, someone who did not tie himself too closely with Donald Trump during the midterm, uh, during the Virginia gubernatorial election last year. However, going into 2022, you're now seeing Republicans looking at candidates like, or potential candidates like Governor Doug Ducey in Arizona, as well as Governor Larry Hogan in Maryland as potential candidates to run in those Senate primaries, because we know those Republican Senate primaries do have Trump-like candidates. And there's a concern that a Trump-like candidate, while they may perform well in a GOP primary, may not be able to perform well against an incumbent or a strong Democratic challenger who's more on the more moderate or establishment side. Yeah. And again, based on this uh, Gallup poll, those independent voters are who each party is really looking at. And we've seen how just a few numbers, just one person, <clears throat> mansion, <clears throat> cinema, can change <laughs> the whole course of their plans. Thank you so much, Julia Manchester, for being with us from Washington. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.